What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to install and use the Vein Miner plugin in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. As we all know, mining is a massive part of the Minecraft game. I mean, it's literally in the name. But while it's important, that doesn't necessarily make it any less tedious. This feeling tends to grow as you progress in the game, since eventually you would much rather be putting your time into building or exploration instead of searching for ores. While there are plenty of ways to solve this issue, one of the best is with Vein Miner. This plugin allows you to mine entire ore veins, trees, crops, and more in a few simple commands. Let's go over how to get started so you can start streamlining your gameplay. Visit the Vein Miner Spigot page and press the blue Download Now button to the top right, and then save this new file into a separate folder because we're going to need it in just a minute. If you're looking for some older versions, you can also check the legacy download links slightly lower on the page. The first legacy download is for 1.13 to 1.16, and the second is for 1.8 to 1.12. But these versions are outdated, so they will not be getting any more updates in the future. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and make sure you're running a plugin compatible server like Paper or Spigot. Afterwards, enter the FTP file access from the left hand menu and log in, and then enter the plugins folder, and on the next page, press upload in the top left. Drag and drop the jar file into the right hand side, and once it has 100% uploaded, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server. Once you spawn into your world, you are automatically able to begin using Vein Miner. To start out, the plugin is only going to work with certain blocks, but of course this can be changed through different commands. By default, the primary use of Vein Miner is the ability to mine entire ore veins all at once. To do this, all you're going to do is hold shift and then mine a single ore like normal. This is instantly going to destroy the entire vein and drop all of the items. That being said, your tool durability will drop as if it were all mined one at a time, so keep an eye on it. If you want the plugin on your server, but you don't want it enabled 100% of the time, then you can choose the VM mode command to choose when it's able to be activated. If you're using Fabric, you can also get the Fabric Companion mod, which is where client mode will allow players to set custom keybinds to toggle Vein Miner on and off. By default, Vein Miner restricts which blocks can be mined with each tool. For example, pickaxes can generally only bulk mine ore instead of other blocks. By using the Vein Miner block list command, you can actually specify adding new blocks to the list. If you're looking to save a lot of time, I recommend adding things like stone to your list, since that'll help you do things like quickly find your way out of tunnels. Speaking of tunnels, Vein Miner also includes different patterns which can be beneficial in different situations. Normally, Vein Miner will try to remove as many compatible blocks in an area as possible. While this is helpful for ores, it's less so for making large tunnels. Using the Vein Miner pattern command will allow you to select a new shape. This includes the default, staircases, and even a 3x3 tunnel. Of course, while ores might be the main pull of this plugin, it actually works on so much more. It also has support for a variety of other tools, including axes, shovels, hoes, and more. For example, axes are going to work great for logs, and hoes will work best for crops. Here is a list of some of the commands and permissions that you could mess with when using this plugin. Of course, like always, this list will also be available in our guide linked down below. If the plugin isn't working, use the forward slash plugins command to make sure that it's even working in the game. If it's not there or if it's listed in red, make sure the plugin is in the correct plugins folder in the console and that it's the correct version. If you're using commands and they're not working on the server, then you need to make sure you have the permissions to do so. This includes either opting yourself in your server console or getting a permissions plugin like Luckperms. 
I think everyone loves mining at some point, but I totally understand starting to get bored after a while. But boredom aside, it doesn't stop the need of different ore and blocks to progress in the game. Now that you have Vein Miner, you can spend less time mining and more time exploring the world. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.